So I downloaded that brand new DCS World mod that was going to be really, really cool and that I'd heard so much about, but all I got was this thing. Now what do I do? Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I figured that it would be a good time to cover something that uh, came up in the comments of one of my most viewed videos on how to install mods for DCS World. And this is something that some people have down pat, some people will struggle with, and it's all about managing archive files. Because when you first download a mod for DCS World, or in this case a livery, a lot of times you will get a file like this. This is a 7z file, or 7zip file. This is a kind of archive file, which is a compressed format that allows rapid file sharing, and it's basically the only way that you can share files across the internet is to have them compressed in some sort of fashion. A lot of you are probably familiar with compressed or zipped folders like this, and this is another type of archive file. The difference is this type of archive file, the compressed or zipped folder, Windows can unzip all on its own. But this type, the 7-zip file and other files like RAR files, Windows can't unzip them on its own. You have to have some program that will do that for you. And one of the ones that came up in the comments of my how to install mods video was WinRAR, which is a free but payware somehow also program that you can download. And it does do a good job of managing archive files and extracting them and so on and so forth, but I haven't used it in a very long time because I found an alternative that is free and open source, 7-zip. And that's what we're going to be having a look at here today. So, if I pull up this, 7-zip is right here, and it's a free open source software that, while it may be a little bit slower to unzip things than, say for example, WinRAR or WinZip, both of which are payware from what I understand, 7-zip is, as I said before, completely free and open source. So. If you run into something like that, what you're looking for when you get to this page is this first download link, the non-beta 64-bit version of 7-zip. Download that, install it, it's completely free, it's easy to use, and that's about all there is to say there. And of course there are no, uh, no annoying or malicious ads of any kind in the program and to show you that what I'm going to do here is I'll right click on this and you'll see I have the 7-zip option here and there are a few things I can do I'm going to hit open archive and that brings up this window and now I have something that looks like something I can actually work with a file folder and if I open it up, there is the file structure of this livery for the F15C. Now, I do have to find a way to go back. I've never actually really gone into this part of the 7-zip program because it does allow you to view what's in there. And one thing I will say, big disclaimer, some 7-zip or other archive files downloaded from the internet can contain viruses, so do be aware of that. That's one of the reasons that the liveries and things like that that I download off the web pretty much all come from the DCS World user files section. Why? Because they have already been checked to ensure that there are no viruses or anything like that. So anything that you see on the DCS World user files should be safe. So with all of that being said, how do I actually open this thing so that I can install it and use it in DCS World? Well, we'll go back to right-click on it, and we'll just hit... Well, we can 
hit one of three things, extract files, extract here, or extract to 389th Fighter Squadron, which is the name of the original file. And any one of those will work. If I hit extract here, that's going to be one of the easiest ones. And then we can just open it up. And you saw that folder just show up right there. Now we have the file in its extracted form. And from here, it's just as simple as dragging and dropping the liveries folder into, in this case, I would go into saved games so that it doesn't mess with my core textures in DCS because it can do that if you just drop it into the bizarre folder in your core DCS world installation, but that's a topic for another video. So in this video, we have learned how to open compressed or zipped files such as 7-zip and RAR files. I hope you found this tutorial helpful, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.